Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we're turning TCM over to supersized insects, humongous bugs, ants on steroids, and coming right up is the 1957 Warner Brothers release, The Black Scorpion. Now this was Warner Brothers' follow-up to a terrific success they'd had with the movie we showed a little earlier this evening, the 1954 sci-fi thriller, Them. This later movie features Richard Denning and Carlos Rivas as geologists studying a long dormant volcano in Mexico, which, wouldn't you know, has recently erupted. Well, while investigating the volcanic activity, these fellows come upon a lair of giant arachnids, massive and mean scorpions. And as for what happens after that, you're going to have to discover that for yourself. Now, one thing this movie has that the film Them did not is special effects by one of the masters of the field, Willis O'Brien, the man behind the groundbreaking special effects for the 1933 version of King Kong. The idea for this movie, The Black Scorpion, originated when Willis O'Brien and his assistant Peter Peterson created a test reel that featured a scorpion the size of a city bus, wreaking havoc on both vehicles and people. Well, the studio bosses at Warner Brothers were so impressed with the footage, they commissioned a feature-length screenplay be written to incorporate that footage. And the result is this next film, which, as a critic put it, is one of the most watchable of all the big bug movies. Here it is, also with a beauty in it named Mara Corday from 1957, The Black Scorpion. This was the final film for special effects wizard Willis O'Brien, who'd been making films since around 1915, when he made popular short films for the Edison Company, shorts called The Dinosaur and The Missing Link. Willis O'Brien received critical acclaim in 1925 for his work on the silent feature The Lost World. Then after that, I guess you could say he really went ape, working on the blockbuster King Kong in 1930, followed by Son of Kong later that same year, and finally, Mighty Joe Young in 1949. Willis O'Brien died in 1962 at the age of 76. We have all those films in our library, by the way. If you'd like to find out the next time we're going to show one of them, visit our website, turnerclassicmovies.com, or go to AOL keyword TCM. Up next, this week's TCM Import, and it's a movie from Sweden that marks the film debut of the great Ingrid Bergman. And who doesn't love Ingrid Bergman? Turner Classic Movies is open all night. Ingrid Bergman makes her film debut in a TCM import from Sweden called The Count of the Old Town. Then Rex Harrison celebrates his anniversary by giving his wife the yellow Rolls Royce.